Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about SBF again. And he was denied. Denied, yes. He wanted to access FTX, Almeida Assets, and contact employees and have dialogue with the current CEO. The current CEO was like, no, you can't talk to the employees because you're evil. And he is. Well, he didn't actually say it that way, but we're going to say it that way. But the Justice Department did actually bar SBF from accessing FTX and Almeida assets. That's actually pretty cool. I definitely think that is the correct decision. And he pro they prohibited uh, Sam Bankman fried from accessing or transferring any FTX or Almeida assets or cryptocurrency. I love that. I think that kind of justice will bring some more confidence back into the market. And I think the only reason SBF wanted to access those assets was because he wanted to use them to pay off his legal team. Remember, his legal team is costing him an arm and a leg and maybe a kidney as well. He doesn't have any money to pay them, so he needs any assets that he has to actually pay them. Remember, he wanted the Robinhood assets to pay off his legal bills, but now he's just going to owe a lot of money and his legal team might actually leave him obviously if they can't if he can't pay them and i don't think his parents have enough money to actually pay the legal team but the more exciting thing about today is like the judge um, in the case actually said the 250 million dollar bail, uh, bail guarantors not only his parents there are two others we know that his parents guaranteed his bail by putting up their house but the two others that are actually not his parents uh, also can be made public. So we'll know who SBF's friends are. And I think it's like, uh, I think the public deserves to know who on who, who, uh, who is on his side. So the thing is like, they like, it will actually be made public. My guess is that Kevin O'Leary might be one of them. And I don't know who is the other guarantor. So those guarantors, are basically betting that Sam Bankman fried won't skip town or those guarantors might just hire bounty hunters to go after him. So I don't really know who the other one would actually be. I'm only guessing that Kevin O'Leary or Mr. Wonderful is one of them. I obviously don't know if that's true or not, but he seems to be the only one on Sam Bankman frieds side. There's also a decent chance that the other one is a pretty big creditor because they actually want to guarantee SBF to see if he actually has any access to the funds so they can actually uh, get paid back. But the ruling came down on January 30th uh, to see the public identity uh, of the two individuals who signed as sureties for Sam Bankman frieds $250 a $250 million bail bond. So those guys are definitely hoping that Sam Bankman fried doesn't skip town or they'll owe a quarter of a billion dollars. So let me know in the comments who you think those people actually are. I think it's Kevin O'Leary and someone else, but who knows who the last one, next one is. Wouldn't it be hilarious if one of them ended up being Gary Gensler? All right, that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.